I was inspired to do this project by an art piece I saw in the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts last year. It was a Native American artist who embroidered QR codes um, using techniques from her um, Native community. And I found it really interesting in the way that it sort of um, subverted ideas about uh, Native Americans and modernity. You kind of think of them as being opposites and so she was using it as this you know technological innovation that actually worked. You could use your phone to read the QR codes uh, and I thought it might be interesting to look at other ways that people use QR codes um, and think about the way that our phones allow us to sort of see and get introduced to stories that we can't really see with our naked eye. Anytime that your camera is seeing something, it's machine vision. So um, a lot of people my age have things like Snapchat and Snapchat allows us to send photos of ourselves to our friends. Every time that you pick up your camera, you're seeing the screen, but that camera is also seeing you. So that's machine vision. If you're looking at a QR code in a museum, um, you gain a lot of information from the piece that you're looking at. You gain more information from the QR code using your phone, but at the end of the day, there's a person at the, under, at the other end of that um, information. The internet is not unbiased, it is not unfeeling, and it is not um, the same for everyone. Um, and so it's this sort of nuanced living thing and we make it what it is and it's really important to understand that there are other people on the other end um, and not only that but there are other people and other stories and other biases that all need to be taken into consideration anytime that you are using um, the internet or posting on the internet or publishing whatever it is that you're doing um, I think an understanding that there's a whole world out there um, with its own nuances that need to be considered um, is important.